Why are you all standing like, uh... We done heard what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Oh, here we Attack! go. Attack! Whoa, man. Okay. Stocko, I want you to get out of harm's way. Get over there. Alistair, you go for him. Stan, you go for him. And you, I've got your name. What's your name? Liliana. You cover the flank. Yeah, <laughs> she was like, Rah! Oh, there's more here. Oh gosh. Uh I'll take these things. Okay, that's one down. And guess what? I gotta repair Alistair. Still got a few uh, health potions left. We need as many health potions as these guys have got, you know. There we go. Perfect. Well, I hate to kill people, you know, like that. That's uh, that's not good. You know, they all they want was the bounty on our head. That's all they wanted, and. Um, yeah, I do feel quite bad. No, is there somebody this way? Or did we kill them before? I think we killed these, haven't we? Okay, let's uh, save game. There we go. Leave us alone. This is going to be tough. <laughs> Right. Let's take this guy down first, okay? What now? Get back, Sandal! Don't let him touch you! Uh. Okay. I need to heal bloody Alistair again. Alistair, what are you doing? Come down towards me a minute. No, you take care of this guy. You take care of him. You take care of him. I need to shoot that one. Okay, what else are we doing then, peeps? Take this guy out with a that, you. Yeah, you keep attacking that one. You keep attacking that one. And you. You go for that one. Okay, I want you to go up there. You attack that, you're attacking that, you're attacking that. So Stocko. Get up there, kid. I am ready. You are ready. Right. Let's take this dude out first with a winter grasp. He's dead. Take that place. Wow. Can't believe we've done it. Awesome. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. No problem, my little dwarves. 
You're welcome. The name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Hello, Road's Sandal. It's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Um, I don't want to travel with a Grey Warden. It's a bit complicated, but you're welcome to come along. I'm not going the same way, trust me. King's business, I'm afraid. It's a bit uh, complicated, but you're welcome to come along. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says half of it. Yeah. Thank you for the offer. But there may be more excitement on your path than is good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Can we do some... Um Whoa, why is everybody angry? I just want to talk to him. We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. We'll be we'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. I shall do it. Uh, ooh. Thank you kindly for all your assistance. No problem. Hello. As you say. Oh, greater health potions, brilliant. That was a big fight, that was. Hello. You can't talk to these now. We'll be off as we'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. Oh. Thank you, Carnage, for all your Right, let's head on. Saving game. Something bad's gonna happen. Get the party and venture forth, yes. Armor does not make a character harder to hit, it just reduces the damage received from a successful weapon attack. Bad dreams, huh? Wow, it seems surreal. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Wow, the Archdemon, is it that big dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. Oh, it takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Oh, thank you. Is there any other surprises I should know about, you know, like sprouting ducks off the top of my head or anything? Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing, no, I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Okay, new quest, enchantment. New quest, soldier's peak. New quest, the king's confident. Right, what are we doing here? Ah, is this the merchant guy? You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Uh, I'm Stocko and I've never heard of you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, but that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Mm. What promise did Duncan make you? My family, well, passed a bit checkered, to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the Wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Mm. What happened next? Hard to say. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one. And our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, 
with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. I'm surprised you kept your name. Our family's only crime was guarding the kingdom against the blight. We're not ashamed of that. So, uh, what favour did you ask of Duncan? I asked for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honour. Can you just go there yourself? Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. Uh. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did. And I said that he could reclaim the old base, and my family could have its honour. Oh. So what do you need from me? I can pick my way through the tunnels at the base of Soldier's Peak. But the place... Well, they say it's haunted. And it'll be dangerous for certain. Will you think on it, at least? Um... Why didn't Duncan help you? Darkspawn surfaced in southern Ferelden. And Duncan got plenty busy recruiting new wardens and meeting with good King Caelan. Duncan said he would help after the Battle of Ostagar. Said there might be useful things at the peak, but he never had the chance. Mm. How are you, uh, how will reclaiming the peak help like the wardens? Soldiers peak a strategic and symbolic importance. Duncan said that it would be worth it right there. He also hoped to recover lost warden history and perhaps a few old relics. No one knows what's up there now. Ah. Okay. Uh, your family's faith will be rewarded. I will help you. A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Okay. So that's that one. Sophia Dryden. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fenwick, at your service once again. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. <laughs> I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Uh, let me see your wares, Bodan. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Lovely. Well, we are going to be buying. Pretty much all of these. Um, injury kits. Yeah, I've got enough of them. Barry Crunch, I've got some of them. What's that? Tier 4 gloves. Dragon plate gauntlets. We haven't got belts, have we? A stick. <laughs> Oh, these are all free as a gift. Grey Warden Hand Puppet. It doesn't sell for anything. Butterfly Sword. Sugar Cake. Uncrushable Pigeon. <laughs> oh, backpacks. I could, I could do with a backpack, you know. Seven gold. No, I can't afford that. Okay, thank you. Sandor? Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Uh, I want some enchantments. Enchantment! Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh. How do I enchant something? You have no items to enchant. Okay. Never mind. Let's go. 
Oh, Morgan, on her own. Lesser. How are you, chick? What do you wish of me? Uh, never mind. All right, let's go. Gather your party and venture forward. Yes, please. Okay, I'm gonna have Alistair. Yes. Yes. Sten. Indeed. Liliana. Where are we now? I think we're just like so Lotharin. Where do we need to go? Reckless Village. I suppose we can go there. Frostback Mountain, Soldier's Peak, Ban no Lake and the Docks. Let's go there. Check this place out. Hold, outsider. You may be of my kind, but you are not Dalish. Why are you here? This is how you greet one of your own people? Flat ears like yourself act little different from your Shemlin masters. I ask again, why are you here? Hmm. I wish to enter your camp. <laughs> why? That's what she said. Um, I have business with your leader, actually. And what business is that? I will tell that to the keeper and to nobody else. I think not. You may be Elven, but I do not know you. Identify your purpose or go. <sighs> I am a great woman. That is not a lie that many would attempt. I will bring you to the Keeper then, and he can decide if your business is worthwhile. Thank you. Yeah, my party looks well odd now. Hmm. I see we have guests. We do? Who are these strangers, Mithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvenen, Keeper. Manuvenen. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zathrian, the Keeper of this clan. Its guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? Um, my name is Stocko. A pleasure to meet you. If you came to bring news of the Blight in the South, it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? <laughs> so their first reaction to trouble is to flee from it. Curious. I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. Hey. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. Yeah. Oh, gosh. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest. But we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. The we werewolves? They ambushed us. And though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. Have you heard of the Even health with all our magic and healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. What do these beasts attack you? They are savage and unrelenting. They need no reason to attack anyone. What is curious, however, is the ambush. We expect werewolves to be no more cunning than a rabid wolf. The ambush suggests a level of intelligence we've never seen before. Maybe they're not as unintelligent as you think. I doubt that. The very curse that is in their blood fills them with an unreasoning rage that precludes any true thought. Hmm. Is there any way to The affliction them? is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that 
that would be no trivial task to retrieve. Mm. You are going to ask me to get it anyhow, right? I would not ask such a thing of anyone. You asked, did you not? Yeah, very Within clever. the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. Mm. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. Okay. Have you uh, considered seeking outside help? From whom? The children of the stone? The Shemlin? Do you truly think they have time to spare for us? Yeah. You said you could perhaps destroy the curse. There is no guarantee that this will work, as I suspect. But it's the only hope we have left. Okay. I'll find this. I must thanks. warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. Oh, but great. if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. Uh, I need some equipment. Then I suggest you see Master Verathorn. I will instruct him to put aside some supplies for you, the kind that the hunters use. Okay, uh, got some questions. Make them quick, if you please. I have much to do here. My apprentice Lanaya or Sayrel, the clan's storyteller, could provide you with answers just as easily. Um, how do you find the weather Watch for the white <laughs> wolves. They are his eyes and ears in the forest. There is not much to say. It stemmed originally from Witherfang, but now any werewolf may infect someone with it. Hmm. So did all werewolves everywhere stem from the Weatherfang? No. The ones from this forest, however, do. Okay. So if a, werewolf, if a werewolf bites me, then I will become infected? It is possible, but not guaranteed. The only way to protect against the curse is not to be bitten. Okay. I don't know if I've been infected. You will know within a matter of days. You will begin to sweat and vomit. And most tellingly, your temper will become wild and uncontrollable. Oh, great. If that happens to you, you should seek out Witherfang even more swiftly. Your mission at that point will be rather personal. Okay, how did this curse That start? is a long tale I do not have time to tell. Ask Sayrel about it if you wish. Okay. I want to ask go something on else. Then. Oh, she go I must <laughs> return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. Yes, you too. Right, so we're on the Danish camp. Let's uh, pick up all the quests we can. Really. Uh, hello? Hello yourself, who are you? I am Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. Uh, why can't I you? shouldn't be talking about this to an outsider. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me before I kick your head in. Try me, I might surprise you. I suppose there's no harm in it. It's not like you can help me. Are all these bears such cringing, ineffectual creatures? I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of the beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. You're a vegetarian. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. Who? Oh, Gaina. Girl problems, I see. She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt, and... And Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. Uh, there may be some way to solve your problems. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. Um, what if I got a pelt for you? No, I, I couldn't do that. I must kill the beast myself. It is my rite of passage to become a full hunter. <sighs> do you want to marry Gina or not? You are right. 
I do want to marry Gaina before she marries someone else. There we go. You would get a pelt for me? Why would you do that? Well, you know, because, um... To see you two together, of course. Then, I am very grateful. I will pray to Andrul, the goddess of the hunt, for your success. Thank you. Young love. Oh, shiny. Please leave that be. If you have need of equipment, I am sure Master Verathorn can help you. Uh... Yes. Please do not lie to me. <laughs> I find it most unbecoming. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Who are you then? You're Liana. I'm Darren Grey Warden. My name is Lanaya. Lanaya. I am Zacrian's first. What you might call an apprentice, perhaps. I've been studying under the Keeper all my life. I am... a bit curious of the outside world. Do you mind if I ask you a question or two? Why, well, uh, uh... If you like, go ahead. I hear the human cities are very large. Thousands upon thousands of souls all packed together in their houses. Is that true? Why don't you go and see a city for yourself? No, I could never leave the clan. My duties here are important to my people, and to me. No doubt, I would not even find my way. I try to imagine those of our people living in such a place, surrounded by walls of stone and indifference. It is a difficult thought. Mm. Um. They are used to it, just as the humans are. Being accustomed to pain and suffering does not make it any less tragic. It is said that one day we will have a land of our own. We Dalish gather the ancient wisdom in preparation for this. When that day comes, all elves, even those who have forgotten, will reclaim their former glory. I have one more question, though I'm not sure you can answer it. Do the humans ever regret what they did to us? Um... I think they pay attention to it, it's just history to them. Ah, oh, how quickly they forget. A poet once wrote of them, before the fall of the Dales. Like dragons they fly, glory upon wings. Like dragons they savage, fearsome pretty things. But you don't need me to quote poetry to you. Forgive me. Perhaps you have some questions of your own. Hmm. What can you tell me about Zathrian? Nothing that you could not ask Zathrian himself. He is the keeper of this clan, and has been for a very long time. He is also a very good man who has lost much. The Dalish are everything to him, and he would do anything to protect them. Lost much? What's he lost? I really shouldn't talk about that. That's something you should ask him about yourself. Okay. Uh, why are the Dalish They hostile? have reason. Since the days of Arlathan, my people have been either subjugated or homeless. Hmm. What is this? Our Lathen, you mentioned. It was our ancestral home long ago when the humans first came to these lands. We were free then and immortal. We did not know how to deal with the humans, and in the end, they turned their power against us and destroyed our Lathen. Our ancestors were enslaved and our culture lost forever. Alves were immortal? They died, but not of an aged body as other races do. Not until the humans came. According to the legends, association with humans caused us to quicken. Our blood sped, and we began to age. So we avoided them, naturally. And then we were enslaved by them for a thousand years. And in so doing, we all were quickened permanently, and our immortality destroyed. Or so the old tales say. Wow. Okay. Um, could you get your lifespan back? In time, and with seclusion. We Dalish have lengthy lifespans, and they will get longer. Zathrian himself has lived many centuries, though that is unusual even for us. Uh, didn't, uh, didn't Erlathen fight back? The Tevinter Imperium was a force to be reckoned with. It was ruled by mages with powerful blood magic. Though Erlathen fought, they lost. Ah, uh, okay. But the Owls were eventually freed, yeah? Yes. After a millennium of slavery, our people were freed by Andraste, the human's prophet who spawned the Chantry. Okay. Uh, so you lost the war. Uh, you wouldn't be the first. One wonders why we weren't more prepared when the humans conquered our second homeland. We will be more cautious if we ever have a third. Okay. Um, but I'm not responsible for what's been done to the elves. That's true. And you're not even a human, so it's doubly unfair. But fairness does not play into such feelings. 
No outsider has ever been good for us. Okay, you want hospital. I was not born here, so I see things differently from the others. Still, I do not blame them for what they feel. Perhaps this may change one day. But I believe the humans would have to take the first steps, if they are capable. Okay. Uh, Certainly. I want to talk to somebody else. As you wish. Darth Shiro. Darth Shiro. Okay. This is Zathrian. Let's do some killing. Use this guy. I'm Darren Atishan, stranger. I am Athras. I hope the others have not been too harsh in their treatment of you. Well, they have, and it's annoying. I have a job to do. It is not our intention to insult a Grey Warden. We are simply wrapped up in the plight of our hunters. It is easy to forget simple niceties at such a time. I understand you will search for the wolves in the Brazilian forest. I would join you, but Zathrian has forbidden me. You don't seem very happy about that. None of us are happy about this situation. And I, least of all. But I shouldn't trouble you with this. You have your own concerns, I am certain. I'd love to hear about I... it. No. It is too strange to discuss something like that with you. Won't you reconsider? We would truly like to hear what has troubled you, sir. Very well. <laughs> it's odd to talk so freely with a stranger, but... Perhaps you can help me. Yes, we can. My wife, Denila, and I both fought the werewolves in the ambush. She was injured so gravely, the curse spread rapidly in her. Uh. Zathrian fought hard to ease her pain, but there was little he could do. And though he says that Denila is dead, he will not let me see her. Her body. I am beginning to believe she became a werewolf. And that it is being kept from me, so I do not go chasing after her. I would not allow any to keep me from my goal. Going out there could <laughs> cause another attack, and I wish no harm upon my clan. This I understand. To hold the group over the individual is worthy. An unexpected trait in your kind. If I could just know if Denila is alive or what happened to her, then I could be at peace. Okay. I will seek her out in the forest. I have an amulet made by our craftsmen. It's not much, but I would be happy to give it to you in return for any news. Okay. 